came here in the early 70s. My family, like a lot of other Haitian families, were leaving Haiti because of uh, the uh, socio-economic, socio-political oppression, I guess you could say, uh, since Papa Doc was uh, consolidating power in preparation for his son to take over when he died. So. Uh, the brain drain of Haiti, I guess. So, so came there when I was before I was ten. So I don't even remember what the first time was. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I went to Boston University for undergrad in aerospace engineering, and then in 1980 and then in '84, uh, I went to uh, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. I, mean, I started out as a physics major, intending to go into astrophysics, but. Uh, it was not very encouraging, and uh, there were more jobs in aerospace engineering, so I switched majors after freshman year. So. And being in aerospace engineering, where I got more interested in the fluid physics part of aerospace engineering more than anything else. So. By the time I was at BU, I was kind of used to being one thing different or another. Either I was used to being too young in my classes, I was used to being the only one and the only African American, the only black in my class. The foreigner in my class, so I was used to a lot of the only that in my classes. So, yeah. so uh, I was used to, I uh, guess, yeah, you know, the the guy with the accent in the class, you know, <laughs> you know. Sometimes it was good to be the the one who gets the, the great grades in class, but I didn't exactly publicize that either. But <laughs> because sometimes I didn't get great grades. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but I guess I just was always something different from the rest of the class. Right. Hmm. Uh, even coming from the Chicago area or anywhere else up north I've been and not having used to kind of being one of the few around so yeah. Yeah, it was like in fact to me this is just like another suburb and it's kind of like a suburb of Chicago like Ann Arbor Michigan you know or you know, just well gonna be one of the few faces around and so I'm kind of used to not expecting to find too many other black faces around so <laughs> not too surprising well, I'd say take uh, broad courses if you can, you know, like, uh, don't just uh, take only what's required, I'd say, uh, especially aerospace engineers, uh, they, a lot of people feel it's a math intensive major, and I think, uh, so therefore the more math background, the better, and I've talked to other friends who, uh, you know, uh, after getting their bachelor's and worked at different places, you know, Ford or academia, talk about, well, you know, if they're experimentalists, they say, well, they wish these students even when I was at NASA, I wish these students actually had more statistics because they're experimentalists and they wanted to be able to process data. If they're computational people, they'd be like, well, I wish these students had more linear algebra and that's not even covered and it's not required. It's, in fact, it's uh, for a lot of error majors here, they take it because they're only one course away from a math minor after they've taken all this other math. So I always say, yeah, if, you, if that's the case, yeah, go ahead and take it. Because you not only will you have a math minor, but you also be ready for doing numerical work. And uh, that some experimentalists would probably say, well, I'd rather you take statistics. But since I do computational research, I always recommend linear algebra instead. But yeah, that kind of background. If you can, if you have a chance, take a course in some other things that you know could be helpful. Because huh? I mean, there was a lot of math, which is just introductory to more advanced topics that I took when I was an undergrad. Every all the entire four years I was there. There was always some engineering math course. I guess now there's not enough time to fit those in. That's the weird part, you say. There's not enough time to fit stuff in, but stuff is being taken out, and yet I always kind of thought the future would have more than I did. 